Hey everyone, Scratching here, Cat and Paul. So I have a Happy Mail uh, project to share with you. I'm using this eyelash trim I picked up at Hobby Lobby and it's in the diamond. Look at that sparkle, oh me goodness. And then I also have it in the rose gold. So I had this card challenge and I want to send back a card to everyone that entered along with just a little goodie and something that's flat and can fit. Uh, I weighed this and it weighs 0.1 ounce so I probably won't even have to pay additional postage and I can just insert it in the card and mail it off. Now these little bags I picked up off of Ally Express. I don't know if you can use that information but there it is. Um, yeah, I paid a couple dollars for them. They are the self sealing and you just peel it. Easier said than done if I get the right side and just fold it over push the air out of it and it's good to go so I thought well what can I use to secure my eyelash trim just first you know versus putting it in the package and then sealing it up so I came up with this um, cute you know it's almost like a sewing thread bobbin kind of idea versus not having the thread bobbin itself so my measurements are three and a half to fit in this package by three and a half so I'm just going to go ahead and cut a couple of these up I have many to do in this paper here I think is simple stories it's very blank on the back there was a flower design on it um, which I used on some of the paper there it is some of the flower design and uh, I think though because there is a graphic on this bag I'm not really worried about it could be one-sided I'd be just as happy with it all right so I got some cut up here and what I'm using is my Stampin' Up! label maker uh, thingy McBobby my punch and I know there are other ones out there by EK success that kind of thing uh, you could use as well and I just take it up to that second notch there I could get a little bit more but uh, I don't feel I need to so just going on both ends it's cute it also leaves these little tabs that's usable and then if you really wanted to get rustic or fancy could easily ink the corners to get rid of that white space on the paper and then I take my eyelash trim and I was, I'm doing about four feet I figure that's plenty enough for tags maybe even for sharing with other friends and where's my good scissors at eyelash trim tends to shed when you do cut it and I just start it on my card and then this way when the recipient gets it it won't be all tangled It will be flat because it will transport flat. I got my baggie here. I think I want to do this design on the outside that way you can see it and then on the other side because of that it's nice with the white background. So how nice in an envelope to a friend I think it's a great idea so I'll go ahead and do another one we'll do the rose gold so no die needed you could actually even just cut out if you wanted to and then if you really wanted to get fancy uh, we could do a, a little notch to hold the eyelash trim so here's my rose gold and again I'm just going to measure out about four feet I 
We'll start it over here, knowing that our notch is to the right. Hopefully this works. And then where's that notch at? Right there. And then that just holds it down. And then we again can bag it. There's the rose gold. So I uh, will be making up many more of these. Nice little way to say thank you for entering my challenge or just a quick like to a crafty friend saying here some eyelash trim. I can't use the whole bundle. That kind of thing. All right. Take care. Thanks for joining me.